Here's a quick tip for anybody who's trying to change the rear needle bearings on their 3.4 supercharger. All right, this is the setup I got going on right now. I pulled back the timing cover and I bought this blind bearing puller from Amazon. Okay, it comes with these jaw pullers so that you can put a wrench on here and pull it out rather than slide hammer it. Okay, so if you look in there, that's what it looks like. It has the little fingers on the end, grabs it, and this kit comes with the perfect size one for these, these needle bearings. All right, you're gonna wanna put a, once you get that in there to tighten it on the inside of this bearing, you're gonna wanna put a 17 on the outside of the big jaw part. And then I got a little mini extension here and it's a 10 millimeter. So the 10 on the outside, cause it's hexed and then the 17 on the inside and you'll just crank it down real tight. I don't have any flat stock, so I got these, you know, big wrenches and they definitely flex in. It's a little sketchy, but it works, all right? Put a, what size is this, 12 on the end of this and start cranking this and it'll yank it out. Okay, this is what the kit looks like. The kit comes with all these different sizes and a slide hammer. Uh, the slide hammer is kind of useless in this scenario, but this is one of the bearings that I got out already. And another really good tip when you're placing it, those jaws for the bearing puller on here, you're gonna wanna get it right on the edge of this lip because if you put it in here, it's gonna try to compress down on all those needle bearings and then it's gonna slip and yank it out or break them and then there's gonna be stuff going everywhere. So right on the edge right there and then it's gonna be really bound up and then it'll pop and then you're pretty much home free. Okay, so that down there. What else? So depth, when you're tapping these back in, I'm gonna tap them back in pretty gently, but found a nickel is the perfect depth. So if you put them on, cause these have never been changed on here to my understanding or to my knowledge, but if you put this on, it's about that deep recessed on the back of the housing. So you're gonna slide this on and then you're gonna make sure it's flush with this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this helps anybody and uh, yeah, you can totally do this job with it still installed on the motor. So don't think you need a press or any fancy tools. This was, I think, 50 bucks. This uh, Polar set was 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link below as well to a, a link for a full rebuild. I've already rebuilt the nose cone, but this was just another big job that I needed to tackle because it was getting pretty noisy. And uh, yeah, when those bearings get noisy, it's most likely these and not the nose cone. So. I'll get that in and thank you very much.